So after spending hours on internet, researching for inspirations, and planning for a new desk setup, the time has finally come. Presenting to you my new 2022 desk setup tour. But before that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Let's go. So there are three reasons why I decided to change my desk setup, uh, my monitor setup. The very first reason is that I wanted a separate monitor for proper like color referencing and I also wanted a monitor that is very specific for gaming as well. And while the Pixel 4 inch was perfect for a white screen setup, I kind of had to do a little bit of a compromise on you know both the work and gaming part. And what I mean by that is that I wanted a factory calibrated monitor and a monitor that gives me the color spaces that I want, uh, whether it's Adobe RGB or P3 and more importantly, I wanted a 100 percent srgb and rec 709 kind of output so that i can grade it properly for you know youtube or for my commercial work and for the gaming part it's not like a big compromise you know it's still a 144 hertz monitor for the pixel 34 inch but what i realized that a lot of games do not optimize very well for a widescreen ui um, you may find that some of the details are a bit stretched at the ends of the screen and a lot of times i would very much prefer to play you know with black bars on the side you know i have the standard uh, 16 by 9 um, aspect ratio so where I decided to you know, switch out my monitors to a dual monitor setup. So the second reason is really because of the desk. The Royal Airways is a good desk. It's a solid, you know, heavy desk with a black peel leather top. You don't even have to use a mouse pad when you're you know, playing games um, or you know, for like casual productivity. It's a very, very good desk, but um, after using it for a year, I realized that I didn't want to deal with the accumulated dust and the, the thought of having to you know, frequently maintain the black leather top. So that is the second reason why I wanted to change out the desk. And the cable management was not necessarily the best. So that is the second reason why I decided to change my setup. So the third reason is that I didn't feel 100% in sync with the look of the house. A lot of it was budget constraint because we were saving for the house and we had spent a lot on renovation and furniture. So if you just recently moved into your home, you would fully understand what I'm talking about. I wouldn't say that I dislike it, you know, for the one year that I've been using it. Um, I think the black tabletop with the white screen monitor, it's a very clean, it's a very good aesthetic look. You've seen it in my previous videos and these are local brands that I support that they've given the products to me to review. Being at home and working 100% of the time, um, I wanted something that is more clean and minimal, something that was really like truly me. So I think it's very important for everyone, which is why I decided to change my desk setup. So if you see my previous videos, I was using the Royal Airways standing desk. Uh, quite a solid desk, you know, for what it's worth. But after using it for a year, uh, my personal preference is that I, I really couldn't stand the dust accumulating on, you know, the tabletop and having to frequently maintain it. So I decided to change my table. So this is my new table, the Ascent from Omnibest. I chose the white coated surface tabletop along with black legs. Uh, reason for choosing black legs is because I wanted it to match my uh, PC case. Although this is a standing desk, but I have not used it uh, while standing at the moment because my PC mount is currently out of stock, it's not available, waiting for them to deliver it. But yeah, I've used this for a month now and I'm very happy, very satisfied with it. Um, I'll talk about it more but not in this video because I want to leave it for a you know a, a separate video, a full review of the Ascent from OnDesk, their latest model. For now, this is my new table and I absolutely love it. Next on the chair that I've been using, this is the Royal Ergonomics uh, Napa Leather Edition that I've been using for about two years now. Uh, gotta give credit where it's due. Napa Leather is still in a very mint condition. It's a solid gaming chair, although it just comes with a little bit of you know a dirt issue on the surface if you don't maintain it, which I don't very frequently maintain my chair. I do clean it though, but not as often as I should. Personally, in the near future, I might change to the Herman Miller Aeron, you know, because that is kind of like the end game chair. But for now, this is still the daily chair that I am using. So next up, this is my new Audio Engine A2 speakers and I really love how clean it looks. The white gloss finish goes so well with the desk and it matches the overall theme of my setup. It's also one of the go-to speakers for all of the desk setups you've seen on YouTube so there's really nothing much to talk about. I love the sound it produces, although I think can very much benefit from you know a subwoofer because uh, it's kind of lacking that oomph. Um, if you know what I mean. But I think a lot of people buy it more for the look of it, the aesthetics of it, more than the sound. I'm um, not saying that the sound is bad. And you know, for me, I'm an aesthetic kind of guy. For this price point, there might be other speakers that would sound better, but um, overall, I'm going for the aesthetic, the look of it, you know, the entire desk setup. So I went with the Audio Engine A2. 
So while we're on audio equipment, I'm using the Audio-Technica AT2020, which is this mic right here. I'm actually using it, you know, to record my voiceovers, my YouTube videos. I'm also using the Arturia Minifuse 2 as an audio interface. Again, I love the white theme of it, and that is the primary reason why I bought the Arturia Minifuse. The AT2020, it's a kind of like a budget option. For me, this is a good enough setup. Um, so these are my audio equipment. So all of the headset I'm using, this is the Stealth Sarah Gen 2, which I reviewed previously. If you like to check out the video, uh, the link is up here. After using it for a few months, I can confidently say that this is a great product. And I recommend it if you're looking for a headset, uh, if you want to use it for gaming, for editing, this is a great pair of headset. Sometimes, you know, when I'm on Zoom calls, I don't even need to use my condenser mic. If I'm lazy, I can just pull out the microphone, which is very nicely hidden right here. Uh, it's a very convenient feature and I really enjoy this pair of headset. So if you're looking for a headset, the Turtle Beach Stealth Siren Gen 2 might be the one for you. I've been experimenting with, you know, different monitor setups over the years. Started with a 27 inch single monitor and then I went to a dual monitor setup. My last setup was the white screen Pixel 34 inch and now we're back full circle. So like I mentioned earlier, I needed an accurate, you know, color reference monitor for, you know, color grading work and this is the BenQ SW270C I have on the left. It is a 2K27 inch monitor that offers 100% Rec.709 and sRGB color spaces, which are perfect color color spaces that I'm uh, working for projects, editing and exporting in. And on the right, I have one of the best gaming monitors in the market right now, the LG 27 GP 850B. This is an insane 165Hz monitor that allows you to overclock to a 180Hz refresh rate. So if you're a filmmaker and a gamer like me, this is the best dual monitor setup currently in the market right now. Uh, trust me, I've done a lot of research. I'll probably do a separate like dedicated video for it. I don't think there's any better dual monitor setups than this unless you're willing to spend a lot more. So make sure you check them out. So quickly running through the other things on my desk, the keyboard that I'm using is the Vega 65 custom keyboard, which is this keyboard right here. Uh, it started as one of the best end game keyboards in the community, I think. But again, end game is so subjective. Personally for me, if you're happy if you're a Razer or Logitech keyboard, that is your end game keyboard um, but if you're into custom keyboards and you want to find out a little bit more I've done a lot of you know videos uh, about keyboards in the past I recently also built one for my good friend David his very first entry custom keyboard and you can check out the video right here and for the mouse I'm using you probably guessed it um, the Logitech G Pro Superlight white color edition this is the best mouse I've ever used. Previously, I was using the G Pro wireless as well. It wasn't a super light version and I've already felt that that was the best mouse ever and I was really convinced that no one could have built a better mouse um, until this. Obviously, this is not a new mouse. I think it has been around the market for one or two years already. But recently, I got it at a very good price at about 160 Singapore dollars, which was a steal for me. So I decided to change uh, my mouse as well along with my entire desk setup. And another question that I have gotten recently from my close friends who have already seen my desk setup is this this mouse pad right here. This is the Razer Pro Glide in XSL version. It's an extremely clean look and it matches the white tabletop very well. The only issue I have in terms of texture is that it's not as smooth and you know as soft as compared to my you know custom desk mats. But in terms of the look, this is definitely a 5 upon 5. If you're looking for this mouse pad and you know any of the items that I've mentioned uh, in my desk setup, you can check out the links in the description box below. So we've come to the end of the video. Let me know down in the comments uh, what you think about this setup, are you a clean and minimalist person as well? If you have any questions about the products I'm using, feel free to ask me and I'll be happy to reply to you. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow my TikTok and Instagram, all the links are down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.